Good morning. Welcome, God's people. You reached Waiting for the One, Grace Podcast, Scriptures Read Daily from New Living Translation Bible, along with daily greetings, requests for happy birthdays, births, anniversaries, other prayer requests, poems, and more. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, let your word resonate and penetrate in us and give us faith, love, hope, health, wisdom, strength, and all we need for today. Amen. Psalm 91 is a protection prayer that the recommendation is reading or hearing it one to two times daily. The first scripture of the day is Exodus 15, 2. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. The next scripture is Psalm 25. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory. And raise a victory banner in the name of our God. May the Lord answer all your prayers. The next scripture is Psalm 21, 2. For you have given him his heart's desire. You have withheld nothing he requested. The next scripture is Romans 14, 13. And it is the last scripture of the day. So let's stop condemning each other. Decide instead to live in such a way that you will not cause another believer to stumble and fall. Now we have extra suggestive reading. Exodus 15, 1 to 27. Psalm 20, 1 to 9. Psalm 21, 1 to 13. Romans 14, 1 to 23. Now we have a poem titled, If I Could Fly. The sun was breaking through the clouds and moving in the sky. I long to fly, I long to fly, to fly as high in the sky as a kite. It would be great to have the ability of bird's flight. I rather my voice reach high in the sky, for tears of gladness I would cry. Oh, how my voice would be heard. It would be a privilege to sing God's word. My heart would be so full, because I would be free from the kite string pull. My voice would reach the heavens and give God the glory. For every buddy would then know the true story. They would not use an excuse. They would be aware of Jesus' abuse. For then they would know of their ignorance, and they would back off from the fence. God's word needs to be heard to quiet the mouths of the ignorant and absurd. God's scripture changes our lives and redirects our wrongs so that each of our lives creates a new song. Our pleas and our cares God hears. God is grateful, for they sound like melodies, and he cheers. For then he feels needed, for then our cases can be treated. We need to activate with prayer and hope. This is one of our main scopes. Pray with belief in Jesus faith and hope, because it will reassure you and help you to cope. I read this song to help us all along. Today we have two birthdays. Happy birthday to George and Francisca. We have a message for you, George and Francisca. It's from Fernando and Lori. Have a God-blessed birthday today and always to each of you, one in the physical world and one in the spiritual world.
Now we have one birthday prayer. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless George today on his birthday. Pour in many blessings that overfill and run into every area of his life. We ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Now we have a birthday that is categorized in memory of a loved one's birthday. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless Francisca in her spiritual body today on her birthday. Many blessings that overfill and run into her spiritual life in all areas. And for those families and friends who are reminded of your physical birthday, Francisca, who will be comforted, strength, and blessed. We ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for listening and joining in with us. We look forward to you listening in with us tomorrow. Tomorrow's theme is titled Sex. Birthdays, occasional prayers, requests can be left at wishingwell142 at gmail.com. The two W's are capitalized and the remaining letters are lower cased. If you're interested in becoming part of our prayer team and transforming into a prayer warrior, please leave your name and cell phone number at the same email as the birthday and prayer requests. We look forward to your requests and you becoming part of our prayer team. Have a God-blessed, fantastic Friday for yourselves and your families. Amen.